evening. Holly Miller with Country Road Crafts. And today I am going to do a sign. I'm just going to paint it and fix it. It's like a beachy summery sign. And uh, that's what we're going to work on tonight. So I bought this board at Walmart because I didn't have time to cut one. If you guys can see that. There we go. From the thing. And all these pieces are just separate. So I'm going to paint this piece first. I want to paint it like a um, this color, right? The, the bluish, this color. What? Board? Yeah. It's a, it's, um, I love you. I just picked up a color. It's called Bohemian Jewel. But I think it's similar to a jewel, azure or um, fusion. I just don't have any open and I didn't have time to look for it. So I'm going to take all these off. I just wanted to come on tonight and chat with you guys. There we go. Comments. Nobody. I just I just clicked on it to make sure I see them. I don't know if you can see them or not. They should pop up. If you guys are on with this tonight, um, let us know where you're from. We'd love to hear it. So first thing is I'm going just to add a little bit of this. Bohemian blue. It's like a bluish green. You see that? Wait, wait, wait. Terrible, terrible. To the left, to the right. <laughs> there it is. Okay. And I'm just going to brush some of this on. And then I'm going to take my spray bottle and wet it down a little so it looks like it's just, I'm going to do just a wash with it because I like the white, but it's not as beachy as I wanted. Not sure what you guys have planned for the weekend, but we have a graduation party and a recital. Mm -hmm. We had a recital last week with Celia. Celia's with me, helping me today. Um, you might start seeing her on lives. She's a mess. What a mess is what Celia is, but that's okay because I like what a mess. I miss what a mess. So what I'm doing is just watering it down a little bit just to give it a wash so it's not so thick. I want the white to show through and I want the wood to come through a little bit and I actually might wipe it back a little in, in the middle there because I, I think I got it too dark. And I'm just going to do a little wash with it and it's just uh, I Love Hue Bohemian Jewel That's what I'm using with the background here. I think also it's it's a cross. This is a color. It's a cross between uh, Renfrew blue and azure. I think, that's what it seems like to me. But I just had it there, so I opened it and I'm going to use it. I'm gonna wipe back a little bit of that in the middle. Just to give it a little bit of a yearning look, but I want it to be a little bit um, like a wash. That's what I'm trying to get the look. And I'm not sure what Walmart put on it because it's wiping off pretty easy. So it looks like maybe a chalk style paint. I'm not sure, but I got this board at Walmart. So I'm not sure it said it on the back. I don't think it said it on the back. Hey, Liz. I am making a sign. I got um, Hello Summer is what it's going to say. Um, got the board from Walmart. Um, and I'm using I Love Hue Bohemian Jewel for the, the bluish color. I think Fusion's Renfrew Blue with Azure is similar. I just had this color quick. Um, and I wanted to come on live at 9. So I just grabbed what I had. I don't think I have any Azure open or Ren for Blue open. So I'm just trying to uh, make a little wash with this blue because Walmart's board was white and I didn't want it to be all white. That's what I'm doing tonight. You guys have plans for the weekend? Or you guys just go take a break? So 
So I'm going to brush them on. Thank you. This is I Love You. I think I got it from Pam. She sends them out sometimes in her sam in samples, sometimes in her, uh, when I order, um, I think I ordered uh, the collage paper. And I think she sent those in with that. It's always nice to use different stuff. I mean, I, we sell fusion. I like fusion. But since I had it here, I'm going to use this. And it's nice. And I'm using a spray mister just to thin it out a little bit and wipe it down because I don't want. And I do apologize for whatever reason. Blue's going to lose her mind here in a second. And she may start barking. But I think she's wanting us to come and play. And we're not in there playing with her. We are doing crafts. So she's going She's, she's going to start working. So I do apologize. She is called Cray Cray for a reason. Just saying. She's prancing now in the hallway. She's in the hallway. Yeah, she went away. She went to go see Daddy. She went to go see Daddy. She mm -hmm. was sitting in the green in the hallway. So I'm just going to do a little wash because I don't want a thick color. Um, the board was white. Like a, a washed white from Walmart, and I wanted to give a little bit of a beachy color. Because what else is there down at the beach, you know? You gotta give a little beachy color. Oh, you love puppies? Well, this one here can be a little demanding at times. And uh, our daughter's home, and I think she's wanting attention from her. And where it's just a wash, it'll drop pretty quick. I just see that. What do you guys think? That's enough color on it? Or do I need to put some more color on it? What do you think, Liz? A little more color, or is that good with the wash? Oh, that's sweet, taking the mother-daughter weekend. Oh, they're in. Um, she's in Texas. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's not in. She's. Not, I don't think she's gonna be in North Carolina. Mm -hmm. Billy doesn't want to know what time because she. Uh, she's gonna meet you at the beach. No, I'm saying what with what time? We ain't got a whole. No, this weekend we've got a recital first thing in the morning, and then okay. we've got a graduation party. She's got more things going on, but I can't do more than just a couple. Okay, so that's good. So I'm gonna push this to the side and let it dry. Then I'm going to paint the little pieces for it. And actually, this came with a little uh, board with it, but it was small. And I wanted to put it on a bigger board. That's why I got this. Galveston, Texas. I'll get paint all the wall. That's where they are. That's where they're going to beach. So I learned this trick from a friend. Actually, the lady that I got these little cutouts from. She said if you take some tape and you fold it and you put all the little pieces on it, it makes it easier to um, makes it easier to paint without chasing all over the table. So that's what I'm gonna do. You, you jingle jingle over there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Liz is going to the beach, Galveston Beach. Mm. Exciting. We live at the beach. I know. It's it is that they don't live at the beach. Mm. So you eat a mountain, baby. I know. I know. So it's gonna say hello summer. A little sun, but I'm going to put summer out and I'm taping down here. And that way, wait, that way I don't have to chase it all over the table. What color was I writing summer in, Philly? Orange. <laughs> Orange. Okay. Philly picked out my colors. I'm tired today. I had to drive to Cherry Point and uh, very tired. Had a long day. Good day. Um, we got a lot accomplished today, but um, I'm just super tired. So we're going to do the uh, orange, but today I'm using coral for the orange. So, And this is fusion mineral paint, and it's just coral. Right? That's what we're using? Because mm -hmm. we want it to be beachy and summery. And Philia loves bright colors. Mm -hmm. What color for the hello? Orange? Hello, orange. Oh, all of it's orange. Okay, I just asked. So she's my color consultant today. So Billy is making sure that I 
choose a good color because I don't know if it'll be good or not. I could like the color. No. I I put the tape across to keep them from moving around instead of chasing them all over the the thing. Usually I'm chasing uh, uh, the letters if they're real teeny tiny pieces. I chase them all over the um, table, and if I tape them, they're kind of all together. So if they move, they just move in a little bit instead of chasing them all over the table like I normally do. And I get it all over my hands, and I'm probably still going to get it all over my hands. But um, I have a, a bike and it has little teeny tiny pieces. And she says if you put tape down and paint, it's just easier to paint it instead of chasing it. And I and I do chase it all over the place. So that's what I'm doing it for. I'm probably not going to tape the hello because I can probably just hold that. But the summer is like all of it separate. So and I want it all one color. So I'm just going to tape it down to hold it in place basically without getting all of my hands too much. Now, I'm going to tell you now, I usually get it everywhere. But uh, this is what we're going to do today. And I'm just, you know, she showed me this and I'm like, I'll try it. And it is helping. I'm not chasing them. So. <laughs> he's listening to the TV loud. <laughs> I don't know what he's watching. Next being silly. Um, this color is coral fusion mineral paint. And I'm just painting it. I mean, nothing special, just putting a good little coat. Yeah, it, I thought it was cool, too. Maybe not for the letters so much, but for the little itty-bitty stuff that I'm chasing. I mean, I have stuff like this big I'm chasing all over the place. And it's like, I can't do this. But she said if I tape it down, it would just be, it's just easier to tape it all together and paint it all at once instead of chasing it. And I'm not chasing it. Look at my hands. They're not too bad. They're not too bad yet. I'm still trying to find a good time, Liz. I don't know. I only get one or two people on at nine on Friday nights. I tried to do it a couple of times this week, but and I didn't really announce it, so I'm not quite sure what I need to do. Um, I like coming on talking to you guys. I hope you guys like coming on talking to me. So. Oh, he's probably, uh, sounds like he's watching, um, okay. the crack, no, it's Goodwill Honey, maybe? Not the crack, I think it might be. I've been watching that for a week now. I enjoy chatting with you also, Liz. I just forget to look up. <laughs> and I try to do easy crafts so I don't have to think about it, but I still end up thinking about it. <laughs> so I just forget to look up half the time. So Delia said I'm painting the hello the same color. So I'm just using uh, the coral for the hello. And we're just doing it beachy colors, so it's going to be bright beach colors. I'm trying to, um, I'm next week, I think the, uh, the 23rd, I think the 25th, 23rd, I'm going to try to go live every day because I'm trying to help out um, another crafter that's going out, uh, going away on vacation for two weeks. So I'm going to try. She usually goes on at two and I work until 3.30. So I told her I'll go on uh, probably around six or seven. So I'll just try to keep you guys informed on that. Um, but I'll be doing a lot of little crafts like this. I have a, um, I'm going to do a, um, I have a birdhouse that I created. Uh, the one I did the other night, I sanded it down the other night. I'm going to actually paint it um, on live, maybe before then. Um, but uh, there's Hello Summer. That is not the practice. 
but he's watching. What are you watching? I don't know what he's watching. What? Oh, that's a commercial. Infusion don't do what, um, thank you, Liz. Fusion don't do what uh, Essential Stencil does and have a big live. You put your times in and do live. Um, you just do it on your own stuff. Um, and Fusion does their own thing. I usually just share those out. Not a big deal. Um, I think I'm going to paint these little glasses orange. Yeah, you love they both like, so I don't like, so I'm going to paint them orange for this coral. I didn't tape it down, and you see I'm chasing it all the place. <laughs> I am. I'm ch am I not chasing it? You are chasing Now I got paint on my hands. See? There. I got paint on my hands now. Chasing that thing. And I want to say... This one is going to be a little star. I'm going to move this watch eyes. This one's going to be a little star. Little star. Like can get it. There you go. What's the sign of an artistic person? What did I say? I don't know. I don't remember what I said. I'm looking at Disney. Billy is watching Disney. She ain't helping me no, out. No, I'm looking at Disney hotel prizes. Time. Oh, we gotta do that next year, don't we? Mm -hmm. Did you know it's more simple to stay at somewhere other than Shades of Green? Oh, I think. Did Did you get a little uh, star, Liz? I think I, I think you got one. Yeah, that yellow Bright, 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 ain't it? I'm gonna put some. I think I'll put the orange around the edges of it. Mm -hmm. I wish you had some more of that pink. I love that what pink. pink. That pinky pink. The, it's right there. It's pure pink. It's no, right there. Oh, curiosity pink. Oh, yeah. that's not pink. That's fuchsia. Uh, no, it was pink. No, it's fuchsia. It was highlighter pink. Oh, yeah. Yeah, hey, well, I like Azure a lot too. Yeah, Azure I make a mess. Three. I'm sorry. She says something about the Azure. Oh, yeah, you did pick. Uh, you did order the uh that and Azure. Yeah, Billy likes the shirt. She likes the bright, bright, bright colors. She just said that she wants the Curiosity pink, but it only comes out once a year, and I've sold out of that. It's quick. It sells out quick, and you don't get it but once a year, and if you don't get a whole big bunch, it's a weird kind of color, and it's fuchsia. It's hot pink. It's hot pink. Highlighter pink. It is very, very pink. Billy would have her whole house in that color pink, I think. Yep. But her room is then in her room here is then a ballerina pink because I have a little ballerina even though she's 26. <laughs> I'm going to put two coats on because I want it to be kind of bright. Oh, she loves the hot pink. Well, when I get some more in, I will let you know. It is bright. It's bright, 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 They usually get it in October for breast cancer awareness. That's when they usually get it in. So I'll order some more in October. Okay, there's the yellow. And I'm going to put some of that coral around the edges just to give it. Oh, Liz, I don't just get paint on my hands. I get paint on my hands. I get it in my hair. I, I left my hair down because I hadn't put it up from work yet. Usually I go to work with my hair down. Um, you may lose me off the uh, feed because it says my batteries look die, dying in my phone. So you may lose me, but you'll still see the craft. Um, but I wear my hair down for work. And uh, I never put it up today. I usually have paint on the knit. <laughs> And you can see on my apron, I have some of stuff all over it. And I have, I try to keep paint clothes on, but this is actually a work shirt and <laughs> my nice blue jeans. So I'm hoping I'll get 
Hope I don't get paint all over it. I can never get the paint out. I'm going to be careful. Is that what Pam said? I'm not going to get paint on. I'm just going to try just a little bit. And I'm just touching up the edges just for a little bit of effect or layering type thing. Oh, I got my um, essential stencil of the month club thing in. So I might do some of those coming up. I just have to create the backboards for them. Um, they're patriotic. I was excited to get them and I forgot to tell you. And I love that glass that you do, Liz. I need to work with you a little bit on those because I would love to do some stained glass. I don't know if I told you, but we have a round window upstairs uh, in the um, foyer upstairs. And I want to do... I want to do stained glass in that window and have it change out uh, the seasons. So. But... I've been here for almost five years and I haven't did it yet. It's been longer than five years, huh? No, we're going to 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. July 27th will be 20. It'll be five years. Okay, so now we're going to mix some colors because Bill, you said I need to mix this. To make, I need to mix. Um, Laurentine and that Bohemian Jewel to make a warm blue, warm blue she says. And I think it's just going to need a little bit. Is that what you think? Yeah. Just a little bit. Looking for another color. So I am mixing Laurentine with that Bohemian blue and look at it. Whatever. Is that the color you think? Hang on, I'm behind. Yeah, like that. Okay. See? I had to tip it to her so she could see it. But I just mixed. Um, Laurentine with a little bit of Bohemian Jewel, but the other color I had, it was uh, I Love You, and uh, it makes this color for my waves. So I want it to be a little different than the background, but not too much different. Like that, Faith? That's it. Too light, too dark. What are you thinking? What's it look like on this thing again? The, I want to make sure it changes. It's like a green. Is that enough of a change? Or no? Kind of change. So more, I need some more light? Use more little teapot or whatever that is. Okay. So Celia is talking me through this. Yeah, he is watching Good Wolf Hunting. Okay, Faith. Okay. She said that color wasn't light enough, but this is. Thank you, Liz. Philia, she likes the bright colors. So he loves bright colors on everything. I am going to. Oh, hey, it's my bubba's. Hey, it's my bubby's. He's looking for his sister. You're going to come right here and look for you. Yeah, he is. But he won't come in here because nope. it's a mess. <laughs> 
I got some of it cleaned. I don't know if you noticed. But, <laughs> but we'll need to do a live together when we do the um, deer head or the deer head. That thing? Yeah. Okay. It's yeah. plastic. That's fine. That means there won't be any bad juju in my house. No bad juju? No bad juju. I don't want dead things in my house. It's not dead. That's what I'm saying. It's plastic. That's what I'm saying. Plastic all the more better. Ethically sourced. Is that what it is saying? summer fun. That's what she said. Julia loves summer fun. She just likes fun in general. Oh, okay. So she says, she's clarifying. She likes fun in general. You tend to have more fun in Teachers have more fun. I didn't show them that. I don't even know if well, anybody knows I made that. The Montessori school, you know, they don't start back up until September and they finish the last week of May for like three months. Three months. Oh, so we've been here for three months. Rest. <laughs> Julia is starting a Montes. She's going to teach at a Montessori school in the fall um, down here instead of up. She's currently living up in Dunn, North Carolina, which is about two hours north of us, or I'm sorry, two hours west of us. And you know, she's moving this way so she can teach at a Montessori. Um, she's going to stay with us for I don't know how long. Throughout I'm excited. I'm excited for a week. Throughout the week. Throughout the week. And then uh, she'll go home to her cat on the weekends. We can't have cats with our dogs. I don't think that would be very fun. Well, it might be fun to watch, but I don't think the the dogs would appreciate the cat. No. Or the cat appreciate the dog, either way. The cat would not get along with the dog. That's the problem. Mm. The cat will hurt them. Oh, yeah. She'll stay here. She'll stay here at the house. So I'm excited. I'm definitely excited. Yes. Especially the cat part She's stressed at the gas prices. She's like, oh, I just broke my brush, guys. It's okay. It's a cheap brush. Did you get some fusion? No. I got it from Dollar Tree. <laughs> and so I didn't take these down. Now look at my hands. <laughs> and I do have to get a tissue and wipe them off. Did you get you something? Nope. I don't like hands. Just grab them. And my cat's butt. She scratched you. No, he don't scratch me. Yeah, our cat's and her cat is a big cat, and my my one twenty pound cat, twenty pound Maine Coon cat. She's Huge a big cat. old fluffy Maine Coon cat, and he's and feisty. All black, and he's creepy looking sometimes. And my dog, one of my dogs, is only forty pounds, and he's a scary cat sometimes. And uh, and my cat's mean. I'm afraid the cat will eat my dog. <laughs> And that would not be good. Some cats and dogs get along. My cat don't like anything. Don't like boys. Don't like dogs. Don't like cats. Don't like squirrels. Don't like birds. Don't like. He's a butt. Okay, so. Oh, he's watching Dead Poets this Saturday night. The one that I was watching. Okay, I am going to just, it's all dry with those uh, waves, so I'm going to put the uh, stuff up here just to see how, oh, Liz's daughter has a big black cat. Oh. I hope you'll share pictures, I'll have to post mine in the comments. Oh, Billy had to post pictures of her cat in the comments, she said. I love cat pictures. Frank is fighting with the dogs. <laughs> I don't know if you hear him in there. Summer would be a little fun laying it out. Look at that. Let me spread it out a little bit. What do you think? Is that like a good thing? Summary, summary. And then the waves go down at the bottom. You can sit him in there. I don't know how. Okay. So what I'm going to use is I'm going to use um, tight bond quick and thick for it. I'm going to use that for my um, oh, Liz said her um the 
cat's overweight and has kidney stones. I was trying to read Hopefully, it. Hopefully, mine don't have any health issues. Uh, he doesn't have any that I know of yet. So, oh, yeah, yeah that's came, good, Mom. It came with, it came on this board, but I thought that was kind of small. It came with this board. I thought it was kind of small, so I wanted to make it a little bigger. Um, I'll do that board with something else. I'll paint it in or something, but I just needed a little... Oh, the type, the quick and thick, it dries thick and it dries clear. We use this a lot. I had a glue gun, but I don't think it made it back over here in the area. I think it's still in the shop from earlier because he texted me at work, meaning it. I'm not picking that back over here. That's okay. I'm going to use this. And it dries really quick. I use the type bond quick and thick with my um, would you bin. I'm not sure if you're familiar with would you bin, but. We retail that too, and I got a bunch in. I can't wait until I get the rest of it in. Oops, you probably want to watch instead of me just putting it off to the side. I forget. And I'm just going to touch it all over it like that. And if it's a little over, it's okay because it's going to dry clear. And I just want it to be like a little fun, little wispy thing. And Philia, yes. on the kitchen table, there's some pigments. Go pick a pit. They're like metallic. Okay. Bring me a couple of those to okay. put on here. I can do that. Okay. Well, picture Don't fall. Here. Oh, no, you do your thing. I'll finish. Yeah. Philia's looking for pictures of her cat. She calls him Fat Boy. But his name is Slash, I think. I want the summer to be kind of Kind of just fun little twist it around, not straight on the line this time. Normally I want it straight on the line to match, but this time I want it to be a fun, fun word. Spread out a little bit. Can you use this on the orange on your can, letters I and can. then use this on your blue? I can. Yep. And did I add a gold in there too? There's, there's my fat cat. I don't, think I don't know if you can see it. I'm trying to share it, but it ain't let me comment. It let you comment. It should. It's not letting me comment pictures. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Um, gold in there too. Okay. Jack, one more thing. Phil, you want Isn't to show your pictures of her cat? <laughs> <laughs> Here, wait. I'll sit down. Okay. I'm trying. Okay, all right, I'm done. Thank you. Now Enjoy she's happy. Now she's happy. She showed you pictures <laughs> of her cat. Phil is 26. And uh, she's my baby girl. You're getting gold, one of these. Orange gold? Or copper? I got you copper already. Yeah, just orange gold. I got some, um, what is it called? Posh shock. It's kind of, and it's pigments, it's like powder. Oh, Liz says she has seven cats. No, oh, I only got the one, so he's like. <laughs> really only has the one. She can't, she can't have any more. She's, that one keeps her busy. You probably want to see what I'm doing instead of just off the screen again. How's that looking, guys? Looking okay? I'm going to do the sun. Oh, again. <laughs> I'm sorry. I get caught up in doing what I'm doing. I forget to fold it under here. You can see it. Hey, Bubba. Thanks, Liz. She says it looks great. Just something quick. I need to get some of that uh, glass that you've been doing. That looks wonderful. I love how you're doing that. I've never tried to do that before. And then the resin. I have resin. I just haven't used that before either. 
Dad did something with the bread in the last day, or today. Yeah, he had. Epoxy. He epoxy it. Okay. Hello, Rima. Rima is the one I'm going to do crafts for um, while she's out of town. Yeah. Kind of excited. We haven't, I haven't decided what, what I'm going to do. And I haven't really chatted with her about what she wants me to do, but that's what I'm going to do. So I'll be doing. Oh, good. Thank you, Rima. Walk me through the resin. And I need to go on your site, and you had some beautiful um, foil. Oh, my goodness. I seen that uh, post you had on the foil, and it was beautiful. I'm going to try deep pour, or deep pour resin. Oh, I'm still on baby steps. I'm still on baby steps. I am with Rima on a social diva group. It's kind of like a uh, Pam's group. It's like a coaching type thing. And we teach us about the business and how to do all this and uh, collaborate. I think I learned more anything than how to collaborate. I enjoy all the different uh, groups that you guys allow me to be in. I got it all in my hands. <laughs> I am going to, oh, 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 I need to learn how to do, I have molds, I'm not very good with them, and they said that resin in the molds will be better, I did a bird, it fell off the thing and it broke, but I did it, I don't know if you've seen this the other night, Liz, I painted this the other night, my birdhouse, and I did uh, wood you bend on the corners, and then um, I did that on the top on a lie just a few days ago, or Maybe last week. I can't remember. I think they're to squish together. Mm, Billia, I need a little brush. Can you go on the thing and get me a couple brushes? Can you leave? Uh, yeah, just a little one. Just Which like one? Uh, any, any three. Awesome. Just three little ones. These are a little crisp. Uh, they're all crisp because I'm crazy. So I'm going to add a little bit of the resin. I mean, I'm sorry. You guys are talking resin. Um, Cook. I have, this is uh posh chalk pigments. It's powdery. I haven't used it yet, but it's powdery. See that a little powdery and you add a little bit of the top coat to it and then just, um, just what I'm going to do tonight is just uh, highlight a little bit. So I'm going to use this color. I'm going to use this color just to highlight the um, sun. And then I'm going to use uh, a little bit of the copper. I think is that copper? Yeah. A little bit of the copper to highlight the stuff on the orange. And Philia brought me some green. Yeah, green. She brought me some green to put some on the highlight the water. So it's just basically it's dry. Uh, um. <laughs> Metallic. That's the word I'm looking for tonight. Metallic. So I am going to get a little tray and I'm just going to add just a little bit. What kind of molds are you using? I'm used, I used uh, IOD and I'm trying to, trying to learn to use. Yeah, I got this from these color. I, I got the colors from um, would you been? And what you do is take the powder and add it to the top coat and just blend it in. I don't know if you see what I just did. It was just, I just added some powder to it and blended it in and made a. And I'm just going to highlight my, around my um, sun, just to get a little texture, just. I'm not sure if that's going to be enough color. Just want a little bit texture rounding. I'm just dabbing it on. 
I'm hoping when it dries, it just dries shiny. That's what I want. I'm not used these, so I'm hoping it gives me that shiny. My goodness. Frank's watching something on TV and he's watching TikTok. He kills me. <laughs> and I'm in the I'm in our formal dining room with my office and my craft room. And it doesn't have doors yet, but uh that may be changing. <laughs> Well, I don't know. I just put a little bit of pigment inside of the, um, I don't know if it's too much or not. I just put a little tiny bit in there. You should be watching the Celtic. Celtic. Is that a, isn't it Chris Clemens right now? Does he? I don't know. I know he was on the Rockets and then he got, he got traded? Or, traded. I don't know the words. I don't know. Huh. It's funny, Chris oh, Chris Clemens is a boy that played for their college, and he was like, what, five, nine? nine he was teeny tiny, and he was awesome. And uh, thank you for sharing. And he's awesome basketball player. And, uh, he's in the main Celtics. Oh, that's probably at the league down. Maybe. But still, he's better yeah. than... He was in the Rockets off. before he busted his knee. He was like... Oh. Second string, but he did something to his knee. So, Rima, just add a little bit of the um, top coat and just a little bit of the um, powder pigment. Is that how I do it? Because I've not did it before. I was thinking I did too much. Just a couple drops of that and just a couple drops of the um, pigment. I just wanted to highlight a little bit of the um, edges. I guess it doesn't take much, maybe. I just put a little sprinkle on that. Look at that color. This is copper. I'm pro I'm sure. Wait, 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 wait. Where am I at? There we go. It's copper. Oh. Okay, well, I might have to get me a dropper because I didn't know that. But this is how I'm doing it tonight, and I'll have to get me a little dropper to add that. We got a fly. He's right there. <laughs> it's okay. And I just want to touch over top of this to make it a little shiny. What's killing me is all that noise in there for daddy. <laughs> At least they're not running the um, ice maker. <laughs> I do have silver pigment. Well, I didn't buy it. I had some silver metallic from Fusion. It's probably similar. It's just a, uh, I have. He, yeah, he does. He likes the, he likes the water. He keeps leaning on it. <laughs> I have um, not pigments, but I have silver metallic. I have it in wax and I have it in just paint. You think those would work better? Oh, my phone's dying slowly, so <laughs> my picture keeps changing. It's probably getting ready to go away. There is a container with my metallics. Uh, where is it at? Where is it? I might be able to where you're sitting there. Huh? Mama Tate. If you add copper and silver pigments together, you'll get a rose gold color and, and you add the top coat. Oh, okay. I'll have to keep that in mind because I don't have any silver pigments. Don't worry about it because I don't I don't know where it's at. I'll have to try that. I'm just painting the color on, or painting on some of this uh, metallic just to give a little bit of, just a little bit of texture. I don't know if you guys can see it, but kind of shiny a little bit. Hmm. 
Oh, giving all your secrets away. I don't have any secrets. If it's in my brain, it comes out. Um, I can't, I don't do secrets. It's, it's not good. It doesn't help to try to keep secrets. <laughs> my kids can't tell me a lie either. We can't keep, Billy can't do secrets. Hunter can do secrets. Billy can't do secrets. Hunter just ignores the question. He does. He def was it deflect? That was called? Yeah. I don't know, just joking, yeah. I like the check um, birdhouse you did the other night too, Rima. That was pretty. I love birdhouses too. I have like four or five more in storage that I'm gonna work on, and I did one on my CNC. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna decoupage it. It's called a uh, bird shack, and I cut it with my CNC. I didn't get to see lives today. I was busy today at work. Oh, I didn't even get a break. We worked through lunch, I'm trying to get some stuff ready for an audit we're getting ready to do. And my units were finally getting a little concerned that I'm getting ready to do an audit. There's that. Just gives a little bit of color. A little extra. Just a little bit of extra, yeah. Now I'm going to try the blue. Hopefully it Actually, it's not blue. blue. It's called green. Hopefully it makes it a little bit shimmery. Yeah. It looks like a blue to me, too. I'm just about to make a wave stand out right now. They're looking about the same. Oh, everything's a trial and error with me, too. And if it don't work, I make it work. I make it look like it fits. Uh, I was going to do the scoopy thing, but I don't even have anything to scoop it out with. Would you like me to find you a small spoon? Nope. We need to get you one of them teaspoons. I do. I do. Like them seven teaspoons are like easy. Yeah. Mm. Oh, could. So uh, when I make a mistake with a color, I just blend it in and make it look like it fit. And then when I do uh, decoupage, when I rip it on accident, because I do that a lot, I just make it, you know, I take some paint and then, like, for instance, this right here, where was it at? Right there at the top. I cut the paper too short. Wait, wait, wait. Right there. So I cut the paper too short and I sanded it off and it was like, a it, you can still see the wood there. So what I did was stick a color and put it there and then and I'll take some uh, wax and wax over it all to make it look like it fit. That's what I'm gonna do. So, and I think I touched it right there underneath. You can see right there underneath with this color here because it was a hole too. I was just trying to make it match. Just some little, I think I touched it right there with uh, paint. Because I cut it too short. No. Oh, there's my metallics right there. See, underneath my birdhouse. <laughs> well, it's right there. The fusion top coat comes in like a little bottle. So I'm going to try to do what she said and just add the liquid, which I already made a mess. So. Thank you, guys. That flies back. Look at him with my glasses over there. So I'm just trying to add it through out this um just build it a little bit. Throughout this. To make it a little shimmery. Just to make it a little bit shimmery. Frank. Dog. Mm -hmm. 
So the uh, the quick and thick already dried and it dried white. You can see a little shiny there, but it's clear. So you cannot see if I make a goop. Like that's not dried yet, but when it's dried right here, you won't be able to see it. And that that blue, that green blue looks awesome on it. Look at that thing. What do you guys think? Is it about done? What? Did you think the closest? Because I just put my mama in a Bentley and it's like a picture of mom with the new car or whatever. And the bottom bigger says, thanks. I put mine in a state of constant worry for my well-being. Yes. Okay. And if I pick it up and show you guys. Thank you, Liz. I'm gonna pick it up a little bit and let me just see it. If I move it around, see the metallic on it. And then metallic on the side. What blue? The waves. But I already had it this color on top. Mm -hmm. I could touch it up. Yeah. Okay. And that's all I had planned for tonight. It's just to do that sign. So, I will try to come back on Sunday to do something fun. I have a bunch of these little um, cutouts. Um, I've got a birdhouse I want to do, and I have, um, what else did I have? I had a couple other things, another birdhouse. I have a couple birdhouses I want to do. So, that's what I'm going to be working on in the next few weeks. I'm going to try to start coming on at on Mondays, maybe Monday, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. Thursdays are almost impossible to get through, and then Fridays definitely come on at nine. I'm just trying to trying to see what time works best. So, you guys have any questions? Let me know. If you guys need fusion paint, or would you been? And I'll be talking to you, uh, Liz, about uh, essential essentials, and Rima, I'll talk to you about some uh, foil because I love that foil that you had earlier. It was beautiful. Um, Billy would like it too. It's very colorful. So, all right, guys, you guys have a wonderful weekend, and I will talk to you soon. You Thanks, and have a great day. <laughs>